get excited about it. You know, it's like you know, so they they do that on purpose to create um, to create a buzz. You know, to yeah. keep doing what they're doing. That's what they want, right? They want to hype it up. You know, so yeah, I like that as I like it as a, I like the lucha as a metaphor for life. That's dope. Yeah. Uh, like uh, yeah, I actually got a little funny story. Um, actually, uh, my gran my grandma's neighbors from across from across the street. You know. Our their cousin is Mibasas. Okay. And Dos Caras and like their yeah. the nephew Saki Dalico. Right. The whole family. Really? Yeah, so like I was able to like go to their house as a little kid. Yeah. And he gave me two he, he gave me one mask of, e of each of the brothers, Dos Caras and oh, Mibasas. That's sick. That they actually wore like in the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he gave me like this little like wristband that they sell all over there, like at the shows and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And like so that was pretty cool. That was yeah, pretty that's dope. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, man, I want to go again. I want to take my kids, but I told my wife next time we go. Well, it's cool too, man, because there's like you can go there. It's like not even that expensive. You can go during the week, and um, and the arena, the way it's set up, it's, it's it's real tall, but it's kind of narrow, like like small. Yeah, steep, huh? Yeah, and there's a lot of um, uh, murals on the inside of it too. It's real cool, and then the, it's cool because I you can you don't even have to get off your seat, man. They'll bring you like 32 ounces of like coronas or. Oh yeah. Whatever uh, kind of beer you want out there, you just don't even have to get up off your seat. They'll bring you popcorn. You just there's just so this is Mexico, man. They they got services off the hook over there. So you know what I mean. You just don't even have to get up your seat, man. Just keep partying. So we had a good time, man. We sit like right up in the front too, man. Oh, that's cool. And they film them there too all the time. So, yeah, yeah. yeah so it's AAA cool. and then all that. I can't ones. remember. There's this dude. He's a badass. What his name was? He, he, I was impressed by him. And then I went and watched him. There's some documentary on Netflix about him. Ray Phoenix. Ray Phoenix. Is that the? I don't know. If it's a dark dude. I don't know. He's tough, dude, bro. He's tough. Think on Junior? I don't know. They made a Netflix show. He was in it. I don't want to say it's the other day. Oh, he, oh God. He's famous, though, too. But he was bad, dude. I mean, he wrestled. like he, Yeah. He stood out. I didn't even know who he was. And he stood out. And uh, I can't remember his name, though, right now. But anyways, yeah. I used to watch the, the, the WWF when I was a kid. Oh, okay. But, you know, I never... You know, and I, when I was a little, little kid, I used to love the old wrestling. So, it's off the hook. so yeah, that's what the painting is, man. It's yeah. Super, there used to be like a more yeah, can dude. we can we show this real quick? Yeah, I mean, it, it, remember that I'm restoring it, so I'm, I'm priming it, so right. it's not a hundred percent what it used to look like. But I might have a picture I can send you of what it looked like before. I, All right, cool. Before I try to restore it, man, it's it's an old painting now, man. I started it about seven years ago, um, but I just worked on it for a few months and then I just kind of abandoned it because I I've been so busy um, with life and other jobs, man, that I had to um, I don't have the luxury sometimes of working on my own stuff. Oh, yeah. So, but I'm definitely going to get back on it, man. I figured with this COVID thing, man, and that's why I'm, I'm having, there was a lot of damage to it throughout the years and neglected. But I, I felt like there was enough there and it was good enough to save. And lucky it happened during this stage because I didn't get too far in it. Oh, so wow. I was able to take it down, send it down to the, to the canvas almost and reprime it, readjust it. Then I'm going to reproject the actual painting that I had there so it's exactly the way it was and repaint it and bring it back to where it should be. Then this whole thing's going to be a full color paint. Right now, it's what's called an oh, okay. imprimatura, which means it's just a another paint. You know, it's just it's just a, it's like a drawing only. Before I go in there with full with a full on color palette. That's really cool. 